Hi everyone, this is Ali Minigakis with SC for CJR. We are downtown right now um, checking out the damage that was done after the um, protests um, turned violent last night in downtown Charleston. We're currently on King Street. I'm going to turn this around so you can see. Um, at the end of the street is the Francis Marion Hotel and pretty much um, it's the same throughout the street here. Um, businesses, uh, a good amount of them were damaged. Um, a lot of the store owners and volunteers from Charleston came this morning and put up um, boards to secure the establishments. A lot of other businesses are actually putting up boards um, to prevent any future damage as well. You can see over here we have um, that's Oku on the side there. We have a few stores that have put up boards. Right here on the corner is Basil um, Thai Cuisine. And I spoke with the owner just a few seconds ago and he said that they, their entire storefront was broken in. Um, there were a few things that were stolen there and they um, boarded everything up as you can see here. There's hundreds of volunteers that came to assist in uh, the business owners and helping them this morning to fix the damage. You can see that there's a lot of people observing just like we are and also a decent amount of officers still present here um, can, and fire rescue that are assessing damage and assessing the scenes and filing police reports. Here we have um, the Macintosh that had one of their entire windows completely shattered. You can see that here. And they put up a board there to cover up that window. Um, a lot of the volunteers are handing out and the restaurants are handing out water, free water to people that are helping um, and volunteering their time to help fix the damage that was done. Walking, continuing down King Street now. You can see these gentlemen um, are putting up boards. A lot of the store owners are putting up signs, uh, writing on their boards. Landrum Taters will be back. Thank you, Charleston. A lot of words of encouragement, Charleston strong messages that are being placed up here. Um, and this, this establishment also had cracked windows in their front doors and these guys are helping to fix that right now. It looks like this entire front window was completely shattered from the looks of it here. A lot of the people that you see here are volunteers that came out and store owners and family and friends that are here to um, help them fix the damage that was done. Over here is the um, wine bar on Cork, which I think is also a restaurant, I'm not sure. But you can see the interesting messages that they have written on their boards. First, we have another encouraging, um, unifying statement. Thank you, Charleston. We are moved by your generosity. Much love, Charleston Strong. But on this other board, you can tell to the mayor, lack of leadership is your downfall. I personally hold you responsible. Resign. Um, so you can see that a, a lot of the business owners and the people here are not only upset with the protesters, but also the leadership or lack of leadership. But the majority of the signs are, are saying Charleston strong. This one says rise tall. Um, but this is the scene all over downtown Charleston on King Street. A lot of people here just observing as well, um, but a good amount of people that are just volunteering. I spoke with one business owner a few minutes ago who said that when he got here this morning, there were a dozen uh, volunteers with boards and equipment um, that helped put up 
um, the boards to his establishment, which was completely broken in within a few hours. Um, he was getting ready to, hot, to call contractors and didn't need to because of the support that he received from the community. Here we are at West Elm. If you saw some of the videos from last night, West Elm received a lot of damage. Um, in fact, there was a video showing a fire from within the store and um, uh, looting as well as complete demolition of the windows in front. And they are still working on fixing all of that right now. Um, fire rescue is still here probably. Um, completing their investigation and reports. The Belmont right there with boards all up. I've spoken to some of the business owners who uh, for the most part are grateful for the help and the support that they've received from people in Charleston. Um, some of them have mentioned that they they don't see how any destruction is related to the death of George Floyd. Obviously, they don't um, condone the actions um, and the death and the murder of George Floyd, but they're obviously frustrated with the response here in Charleston. Um, many of you may know that in, in Charleston, after the Mother Emanuel shooting with um, Dylan Roof, and also after the um, shooting of Walter Scott, who was a unarmed black man who was shot in the back several times by a police officer after being pulled over for um, and not having a, a driver's license because his child support was overdue. They, th there was not a lot of protesting here. Um, there was hardly at all. In fact, it was more of a unifying um, attitude that was had in Charleston where uh, the community came together hand in hand to um, support one another and to move on in a peaceful fashion. That is where the saying Charleston Strong comes from. Um, and a lot of the people here are upset because they don't feel this is the way that Charleston usually reacts to these kinds of things. Um, obviously, the entire country is reacting in um, a more violent way than usually. Um, or in decades we've seen, you know, uh, as a former public defender and a criminal defense attorney, I've seen a lot of injustice to um, not, not only black men and minorities, but all types of people. Um, but the majority of it is towards minorities. And I think that the destruction here, whether it's related or not, I think it's clear just from the protests alone that there is a lot of pain that people are feeling um, and people are fed up with having to turn on the news and uh, or watch a YouTube video or Facebook Live that shows another black man being murdered or seriously abused um, by a police officer. I'm not saying that the destruction here 